Your power tool uses a basic toggle switch that breaks the circuit on both the hot and neutral wires. After thousands of cycles and years of use, the switch will wear out. Testing for a bad switch can be easily done using a multimeter. Replacing the on-off switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear motor housing from the grinder. Next, I'll remove the cord clamp. With the clamp removed, I can pull the cord and switch away from the housing. Now I can remove the cord wires from the switch and attach them to the new switch. I'll need to transfer the screws and washers from the old switch to the new. Next, I'll remove the field wires and transfer them from the old switch to the new. Now I can install the switch back into the housing. I'll make sure that the switch actuator fits over the button on the switch. And I'll secure the cord with the clamp. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the rear motor housing. And that's how easy it is to install a new switch in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.